Bodyworks is solely relying on a body donation program that we initiated back already in the early 1980s because we felt it is very important to have the agreement of those we are using for this purpose because the specimens will not deteriorate, they will never be buried, their family members won't have a grave. So we want people to have to, to, to agree to this procedure. And later on we extended this body donation program to get also people's agreement as to whether we can put these specimens on public display. So all specimens you see here are originating from people who have voluntarily decided during a lifetime to be part of it. Um, I'm answer the organ donation question though is I think a personal question. I still uh, am, have not made up my own mind about it. Uh, but. Uh, I respect people who have decided to make such donations. I think when people donate their organs to science, they're giving, like, just look how many people are here, you know, you're giving the opportunity, one person is making thousands upon thousands of people learn. You know, they're being able to see how their bodies work, people are getting to understand their own bodies. Not just people who are in medical professions, but people who are just, you know, everyday normal people who do any kind of job. They get to come here and see what the doctors see, you know, try to understand the body better. When people see things like this, they'll understand how to take care of themselves better, you know. They'll see what they're doing to their body, they'll see the kind of damage that they might be doing, or the kind of benefits that they're doing. And um, for the moment we have more than 10,000 people in our files, and we have received around 680 dead so far. The vast majority of our donors are from Germany because our um, facilities are located in Germany, but we have also initiated a body donation program on the North American continent, and I don't know how hard how many uh, visit, not visitors, donors we have in Canada uh, already, um, but it's about seventy. About seventy, um, but the, the North American con on the North American uh, continent we have a little more than one thousand already, and. Most of our donors, they felt inspired donating the body after seeing body boards. Uh, as far as the organ donor programs go, I, uh, I signed up. Uh, when it first came to Toronto, I signed up. One of the first Canadians to sign up. Uh, I went to the uh, meeting in LA. Uh, they had a, uh, a, a meeting for all the donors that came out. We actually got the chance to meet um, the, uh, the creator of these exhibitions. And uh, it's a fantastic experience just to meet other people and talk to them and see why they're doing it. Uh, my personal reasons for doing it, uh, it, it, to me, it was an encouragement to quit smoking because I didn't want to be that smoker's lung sitting there. And uh, so, you know, drive it home, yep, my body's going there, I have to quit. Um, and yeah, hopefully I can give something back and uh, people can learn something from uh, whatever my body goes through the rest of my life. So. With the organ donation, we think it's great that people are doing that because that kind of gives us a chance to learn and see it real and um, I don't know, what else do you think? <laughs> I just think it's a truly touching experience, some of the um, wording on the walls uh, regarding the donations, especially the heart transplants, knowing that you can give life and, and donate your heart to keep someone else you know, alive and here with their loved ones. It's really special and important. You really see that and get a grasp for that being here. About every two years, we usually invite our donors for a meeting to let them participate in new developments. Um, so that would also allow them to address their questions, to bring their families. Um, and um, in, in America and Canada, it's not possible, but in Europe, we usually invite the donors together with the families to our institute so that they can really be assured what will happen to their body once they are coming to us. Uh, they can, are entitled to look into each laboratory, into each container and vacuum chamber. So um, I know that our donors, they discuss this in very length with their family members. And there are even a lot of them um, where the whole family decided to become a body donor. We even have a few children in our files, of course, with their uh, signature, with the allowance of 
of the parents? I absolutely encourage people to sign your form and donate your body so people can learn about it. it. Like students like us that are learning about the human body in school, medical students, everything, you get education on what it looks like. You learn what a, a lung looks like when you smoke. You learn, like, you actually get to see it and you say to yourself, oh, I don't want to do that. Um, yeah, so just totally donate your body and get it in here so people can look at it and learn. The organ donation, I really appreciate people who have uh, donated their bodies and their organs to make this uh, exhibition possible. Uh, without that, it would be impossible to see that uh, firsthand in a way. And uh, organ donation uh, as a way of sustaining life that's very impressive. There was a story about a girl who has written uh, his emotions, her emotions, about uh, having a heart transplanted. It was very touching. And uh, I'm just impressed about the whole experience. Our body donors are absolutely aware of that. We totally anonymize uh, the bodies once they are coming to our institute. And I think. This was for good reason, tradition in anatomy always, that uh, the specimens are anonymized. Uh, also when you are in, in an anatomy class at the university, the students are never told this was Mr. So-and-so and he died because of... And so I think um, it would be a great burden, perhaps, for the family members. And I think, Im imagine the case that the the specimen or the body was uh, displayed in a way that the family members doesn't like. So it's a burden for the rest of, the, of their life and it's a burden for us too. So I think it is much better for everybody and it is again, it's well accepted um, among our body donors that they stay anonymous. We are often asked why don't you put at least the age or why don't you put there at least the cause of death? I personally, I, I struggle even back and forth. I see some benefits, but I personally believe that the strength of this exhibit is that people can really identify with what they see. They regard the specimens more or less as a bridge to themselves. It's a self-reflection without a mirror. But once you say, this was a person who died at 55, he died of this and that diagnosis. It's him, it's another fate, it's not you any longer. So I think if I would provide personal data, it would take strength away from the exhibit. I definitely think organ donation is a good thing. Um, just because we don't really realize how important it is until we have a loved one that is in need of an organ and we want them to survive and then we realize how much we need for people to give their organs so that others may benefit from it and uh, have life. A sensitive issue for sure. Personally, uh, I, I believe in it and I would definitely donate uh, myself because uh, I believe in science and the progression of science and so from my perspective, um, I believe in the program. Uh, is there anything else I can add to, uh, to that? I do personally, yes. I do believe in it. And uh, uh, I think it would be uh, a great honor to have perhaps one of my organs, you know, be uh, at the origins of a great discovery. So, but that's my opinion. I understand that many people view it in many different ways. So. And the organ donation program, I think it's great because, um, once again, like this is all educational. This is for like our future. Um, if if these bodies weren't here, um, I wouldn't have known like a lot that I've learned today. So um, organ donation, I think, is great, and um, people should talk about it more so it could be known to everyone and they have uh, time to think about it. Thank you. Okay.